A blessed morning to you, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Catholic Mass at St. Henry Catholic Church in Gresham, Oregon, on this, the Thursday of the first week of Ordinary Time. My name is Father Charles Zock, and I'm assisted at the altar by Deacon Larry Lumina. Let us begin with our opening psalm, Psalm 25. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. To you, O Lord, I lift up my prayer. I will follow your ways, O Lord. I will walk in your paths, for you are my Savior. and sinfulness be not mindful O Lord in your kindness Lord remember me to you Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the Mass for Peace and Justice as we keep in mind that we pray for a peaceful transition of power and authority in our country. We pray, Lord, have mercy. The Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God of peace, who are peace itself, and whom a spirit of discord cannot grasp, nor a violent mind receive, Grant that those who are one in heart may persevere in what is good, and that those in conflict may forget evil and so be healed. Through Christ our Lord. says, Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at the rebellion in the day of testing in the desert, where your ancestors tested and tried me and saw my works for 40 years. Because of this, I was provoked with that generation. And I said, they have always been of erring heart and they do not know my ways. As I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Take care, brothers and sisters, that none of you may have an evil and unfaithful heart so as to forsake the living God. Encourage yourselves daily while it is still today, so that none of you may grow hardened by the deceit of sin. We have become partners of Christ if only we hold the beginning of the reality firm until the end. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> the responsorial psalm, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. <clears throat> Come, let us bow down in worship. 
Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me. They tempted me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Forty years I wearied of that generation, and I said, This people's heart goes astray. They do not know my ways. Therefore I swore in anger, they shall never enter my rest. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia. of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with and with your spirit. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. A leper came to him and kneeling down, begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched the leper, and said to him, I do will it, be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then he warned him sternly, he dismissed him at once. Then he said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places. And people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I guess one of the things that we see in this particular Gospel reading, if you, if you want information to spread, and that's true to this very day, you really say, don't tell anybody, <laughs> right? And what's the first thing that happens? Hey, did you hear? Human nature hasn't changed over all these centuries. But what's more important in this particular gospel reading is, is number one, um, when he discusses the leper. Back in the day, and even today, leprosy is extremely feared to the point of revulsion from other people. And as I read this gospel reading, I had a biblical studies professor that talked about the different forms of leprosy that the Hebrews um, would, would look at, because not everything was actually what we consider leprosy today. It might have been other skin disease. It may have been something wrong with a house, like mold. And, and then they had to abandon it. And even to this day, we have buildings that are torn down because of mold. Now it's not leprosy, but it's something dangerous to our health. But think about those things in our society now that we harden our hearts to. What is it? Who are our modern day lepers that we could reach out more lovingly to? It's tough. And I'll, for your consideration, I'll say the homeless right now are a group of people that sometimes we're revolted by. Have you ever crossed the street so you don't have to walk near one? They're human beings. And I experienced a homeless person over at St. Joseph the Worker that had such a foul stench. She actually drove people out of one of the video rooms that we were doing mass when we were rebuilding. 
kind of like, like this. And I talked to her one day, which was way out of my comfort zone. And I said, you have to get yourself cleaned up. You have to find housing. And if there's something we can do, let us know. Oh, no, she had all kinds of reasons. Six months later, I'd completely forgotten about her. I'm walking through Safeway, and I hear, Deacon, Deacon, and I go, who could this be? Didn't even recognize her. It was that homeless person who had, who said, I followed your advice. Now, she was a little off, let's say, mentally, but she still knew that she needed to get help. And she did accept help. And she got, and she was a completely different person. Now, I don't take 100% credit for that because people that work with her directly are the true saints in this situation. Those that work with the homeless, my hats are off because you have a, a willingness to open your hearts to others. But they truly, think about all the times we're reviled by homeless people. That's the leper of Jesus' day. And what Jesus in this, what this particular gospel is also about, it's about the sin of hardening our hearts because the leper asked, if you will it, I can be made clean. Not God, I need to be made clean and if you do this for me, I'm gonna do this for you. Because we do tend to bargain at times, don't we? But it's knowing that Jesus was the Lord, the sovereign Lord of all, the one that could heal him. So think about that with our sin and replace leprosy with sin and think what we could do by offering up our sin freely, not, Lord, you have to do this for me, but if you will it, just exactly what they say here, and then see what happens. But I want to present another group, too. I was reading an article by an archbishop, from El, I think a bishop or archbishop from El Paso, Texas, and he was talking about migrants. Some people might call them illegal aliens. Um, they're people coming to this country seeking a better life. And his heart was just torn at the fact that you have families, mothers bringing their children for a better life in this country, much like my great-grandparents did at the turn of the century coming from Europe. If you're starving to death in a country or the country is very abusive and stuff, you seek betterment for your family. And that's another group of to shun and ignore and the article struck me yesterday that I hadn't really put it on those terms I was lining up with we need a wall to stop those people and it was kind of a heart-changing moment for me yesterday to read that and so you know I look at my uh, my grandparents had they not been allowed in this country freely the benefits that they work so hard for that I'm taking advantage of today, I would not have. And so think about all those situations. What is your leprosy? It doesn't have to be the disease, but what is your leprosy? And how can you change and put Jesus primarily over your life in the right order? And so we take that up in prayer and ask but we don't know what the answer is going to be because Jesus is the boss so to speak and so we do give those things up that are our leprosies of today let us offer these petitions to our Heavenly Father in the words of the psalmist, if you hear his voice, which we have just heard, harden not your hearts and lift up our prayers. And so today we pray that our three branches of government may be open to the inspiration of God to preserve truth, justice, and peace, especially in this time of transition. We pray to the Lord. Lord. For continued progress on our Madonna Center and for safety to our construction workers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the needs of our parish families and those who have requested our prayers, 
We make all of these our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Through this mystery of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. This will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Sisters and brothers, we pray together that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of the Lord, for our good and good of all the Lord. May the saving sacrifice of your Son, the King of Peace, offered under sacramental signs that signify peace and unity, strengthen, we pray, O Lord, concord, among all your children, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heights. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord so that, converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When 
we eat this bread and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Alexander and Peter our bishops and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May this thing with the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ come into eternal life to us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant to us, O Lord, that nourished with the delights of the one bread that fortifies the human heart, we may successfully overcome the lack of peace and love and justice in our world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just one announcement. There are there's a funeral today for Colleen Benefit at 11, and three other funerals are uh, pending. They will come within the next few weeks. So please remember Glenn Nato, Steve Stratton, and Mary Lafferty in your prayers and their family. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. To you. all my trust in you I will not be ashamed 